Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of RDR. We are going to take a look at PC Gamer magazine today from August 1995. And you'll see this is, uh, well the focus is Windows 95. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I want to just take a look at 1995's perspective of Windows 95. Because from what I remember, Windows 95 was pretty amazing when it came out and our first home computer was a windows 95 packard bell so windows 95 is very nostalgic to me and one of my favorite operating systems because of that very fact so right off the bat looking at the cover here looks like we have the promise of windows 95 being no more dos hassles 3d graphics and sound Plug and play upgrades, will it happen? A special nine page investigation. Well, August 1995, you will be pleasantly surprised in the years to come. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in. Looks like we got some reviews and rated games Full Throttle, Sim Tower, Tank Commander, Perfect General 2, Blood Bowl. I don't know. I do see Doom on the cover here. That's pretty cool. And this is the CD-ROM edition. So this came with a disc. This magazine cost $7.95 when it came out, but it did come with a disc. So I bet it was a demo disc of some kind. Yeah, 12 major demos. Listen there. All right. Looks like we have a two-page ad here. The Hive. Never played The Hive. But this uh, would have intrigued me as a kid. It has that pretty primitive 3D graphics look to it that would have caught my eye for sure. Talking a little E3 there. Windows 95, the new face of gaming. Some features of the magazine here. Jump over that. A little bit about what's on the CD. As far as requirements, things like that. A little bit more about the CD, it looks like. Looks like you actually get a screenshot of what that CD would have looked like. That's kind of cool. I loved these kind of CDs as a kid. I never got very many of them, but when I did, it was great. I remember getting the first Tomb Raider demo on a CD like this. Or, or, or it was like its own demo. I'm not sure, really, but um, long story short, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned in the past, it didn't work for me because my computer just couldn't handle it. And it was a real bummer. But you get all the way till you walk into the cave. So it's like the first, you know, 20 seconds of gameplay. And then you'd see the tiger. And I remember just always locking up. It was really unfortunate. Jagged Alliance and Star Trial. Never heard of these. Oh, jump back there. Sorry. Space Quest 6. Never played Space Quest, so I really have nothing to say about it. What in the heck is this? Pumps one gallon a minute. And it is the human heart. <laughs> Pumps 25 gallons a minute. Of course, it's a two-page ad. Again, if this is your first time seeing these, the, the two-page ads show, depending on how these were loaded up, um, either they'll do one at a time and then show it the full two pages all together after the fact, or sometimes you just don't get that. And it looks like this one's not going to give us that. So I'll jump back and forth. And this is fade to black, which I have also never played, but judging from those screenshots, I would have probably thought that's the best looking game of all time when it came out. For PC CD. <laughs> all right. 
Mech Warrior 2. We've seen a lot of ads for Mech Warrior games in the magazines you've looked at so far, but I would say this is the one of the best. This looks awesome. That mech walking out of a, the flames, that's pretty awesome. Looking at some other stuff, we have Discworld, the Orion Conspiracy. Two games I'm not familiar with. Lemmings 3D. Lemmings is a big deal. I've mentioned I'm not, never was a big Lemmings fan, but I can appreciate it for what it is. Coral CD Office Companion, the best CD to complete your office suite. Only a hundred bucks. This is before, you know, Microsoft kind of dominated the whole office spectrum of uh, computing, you know, when we were a kid, we used WordPad to write reports in elementary school, which is as awful as it sounds, to be honest. Um, it's terrible. And, uh, you know, Word comes out, the, the feature of the auto spell check, and now, you know, the ability for it to to so easily once the, you know, just on, not even just a few years later with Microsoft Office 97. I'm not sure if there's a office program before it. There may be. Um, that's the first one I ever had experience with. I actually have a video loading that up onto the um, compact sitting behind me here. So, and that was done to give the compact a kind of, you know, full PC feel with an office. You got to have an office program to have that. So. I do have some other software from Coral. I think it's like a web web builder program we'll look at one day here. Maybe some other things. Void Pirates and Cyber Bikes. Wow, Cyber Bikes kind of has a real 3D look to it. Void Pirates, I don't know what that is, but it looks like a space game to me. Cyber Mage. Comic strip style ad here. Again, I'm not familiar with that either. A lot of games so far I'm not familiar with. Wow. This CD-ROM is so good, you'll crap your pants. Hell, CD-ROM. Over 500 megabytes. Okay, that is a lot for 95. Hell, oh, hell on CD-ROM. Cool. Offer good through July 31st, 1995. Interesting. That's all I can say. I'm guessing it's, oh yeah, it's got like Doom and stuff, so. Some sort of like mega pack. Bureau 13, that looks cool, but I have never played it. Star Trek A Final Unity, another Star Trek game I've not heard of. Conquer, Conqueror 80, 10, oh, wow. Conqueror AD 1086. The Epic Conquest 900 Years in the Making. I've heard of the Conqueror games. I've never played this. Terminal Velocity. Clockworks. I've heard of Clockworks. I've not played either of these, though. PlayNet. Genie for Windows. Imagination Network. All right. I don't know what this is. This is like, looks like another video or comic book style ad. This intrigues me. Something about the floppy. Quick start. The floppy. The floppy replacement August 1985 PC Gamer. Oh, so you can get it on floppy as well.
That's cool. Darker and pyrotechnia. Pyrotechnica, excuse me. Heretic ad. <laughs> the old uh, Microsoft lo uh, sl slogan, where do you want to go today? Flight simulator. Yeah, that's awesome. The Pandora device. Never heard of it. Looks like some sort of digital style game. The stream screenshot looks great. Solve the mystery or the park is history. Panic in the park. Never heard of it. The War College. The Universal Military Simulator is born again. Oh, maybe we lost missed a page there. Okay, it's just more stuff on the Battle of... Barsalis, Fade to Black, some early 3D graphics there. It's your universe, God's just renting. Millennia. The Ultimate God Game. Huh. Never heard of it. I like the ad, though. It's just interesting. CEO, the world's most powerful job is open. Your application awaits. Some sort of interactive game here. Ooh, Descent Online. That would have been awesome. P90 hits the road, portable Pentium article. Ha! Huh. We are worldwide. PC Gamer website opens to public. That's awesome. That's so funny. CD-ROM tutorial for Windows 95 also provides a good chuckle. Laugh while you learn. Looks like Spectrum Holobyte and ABC sign a deal. ABC Sports goes multimedia. Back when Spectrum Holobyte was around. Let the buyer be net aware. Better Business Bureau opens website. This is great. Okay, so these... You know, this magazine so far has been kind of meh to me, but um, I am loving the whole primitive internet uh, articles of these, you know, this opens up on the web. This is a website now. Like, I mean, everything's a website now, but back then it's just like, you know, you're, you're kind of witnessing the birth of the web as you look at this. It's kind of cool. Caesar 2. I have played Caesar 3. Entombed. Never played that. If I had to guess, it looks like a mist. Yeah. In, in the tradition of mist, I said, just thought. Looks like mist. It is. Mac users on Highway to Hell. GT announces Macintosh version of Doom 2. Imagine the savings. AT&T offers savings on Entertainment Network. Oh, thank you, AT&T. Hacker Pack Construction Kit collects, explains Doom Tools, Doom Construction Kit. That's cool. I would have loved to have gotten into that when I was a kid. But I mean, when I was a kid, I, couldn't even, I wasn't even allowed to play Doom. So 
I don't think that was too uncommon of a thing with a lot of people in my generation, you know, like it's nothing now. I mean, it's like a, you could probably find an app to play Doom on for free and it would just be a nostalgic little kick. But back in the day, this game um, got, you know, it was there's a lot of controversy around Doom, I remember, and uh, other games like it, you know, and of course we can't forget the um, role that Doom played in the Columbine disaster uh, in the late 90s, I think it was 99. And, uh, you know, Doom had a big, well, had a suspected role in that. And uh, I remember that really got a negative hype. And, you know, Mortal Kombat then was the next game I remember to get real bad, you know, hype amongst parents and stuff for its violence. And it's funny because it looks, I mean, gosh, when you see what we have today, versus in compare by comparison it's just it's crazy that's all i can say even spock would be nervous absolute zero well i do like the primitive 3d spaceship all right here's the windows 95 article from the cover Better, faster, easier PC gaming. Well, I will say this. That is true. I see Paparis Indie Racing there, looks like. Talking about why gamers should adopt Windows 95. Yeah, some screenshots. Say no to druids. Unlikely. Druid. Never played it. <laughs> Free cell. A little bit more. Um, I remember the joystick configuration. I got. I remember that exactly. Setting up my joystick so I could play Comanche. <laughs> Rise of the Triad. I have not played this. But I'm familiar with it. Ooh, talk of the desktop here. That's pretty cool. File management, multitasking, 32 bit multi computing. It's funny because I mean, now this is looks primitive, but I remember at the time. The jump from 3.1, Windows 3.1 to Windows 95, I mean, it's, it's night and day, you know? And now you can see how Windows 95 was a huge influence and played a huge role on all Windows builds after it. So, it, I mean, it was really something. Never mind the seatbelt. What you really need is a bulletproof vest. High octane. Never played it. I like the ad. A little bit more here. Hover. I see a screenshot of Hover there. If you're not familiar with Hover, that came on the Windows 95 setup CD for free. And it was like this capture the flag game where you basically are against this opponent. And it's at the time it was great because it was this open 3D style game, which, you know, was one of the first I've ever experienced. And I absolutely loved it. But it was also pretty boring. The Infinity Machine. Um, altering game vari variables. Okay. Software. Locksmith PC. Moves <laughs> the password checks. 
<laughs> crack your games. Copy protection removal. <laughs> Universal game cheater. And here they are for sale in a magazine. That's hilarious. REM software. A little bit more here on Windows 95. We have an ad, Unleash Your Nightmare. Horror survival game of some kind. Ah, Phantasmagoria. Never played it, but I've heard of it. Oh, and there's the other side, so we can see it. <laughs> Your nightmare awaits on seven CDs. Now that's like being portrayed as a good thing. <laughs> Take seven CDs for this game. Let's buy Sierra. That is cool. E3 Entertainment. Talk of Activision. Talk of Bethesda. Talk of Blizzard. What am I looking at here? Shattered Nations. I just, those mechs look crazy. It's like some sort of mech slash alien looking thing in that screenshot. Terminator Future Shock, I have played that. I love those old 90s Terminator games, those old FPSs. They are primitive, but they're fun. Got LucasArts talk here. Oh, we got PC Gamer Reader's Choice Awards. So bear with me while I get close to the screen and read these. Game of the year, Doom. Best role-playing game, Ultima 8. Best war game, Aces of the Deep. Best arcade, Mortal Kombat, of course. Best action game, Doom. Best adventure game, System Shock. Oh yeah, I agree. Best simulator was NASCAR Racing. Best sports game also got NASCAR Racing. That's awesome. Best strategy game was XCOM. Best historical simulator was Colonization. Colonization. Not Civilization, Colonization. Best CD-ROM, Enhancement, X-Wing. Design Excellence, Doom 2. Best graphics was Wing Commander 3. Best acting was Under a Killing Moon. Best joystick game was Phoenix. The best speakers, Bose. Best educational product, Microsoft Encarta 95. Best puzzle game was Load Runner, The Legend Continues. Best sound card was Sound, Blast, uh, sound Blaster AWE32. Favorite PC manufacturer was voted IBM. Favorite advertising was Electronic Arts. Favorite CD-ROM drive was Sony. And favorite mail order company, Computer Express. That's cool. I agree with a lot of those. I like that NASCAR Racing took two spots. X-Wing's a great game. I actually just picked that up. A CD copy of that. I've never played Wing Commander 3, so the fact that it got best graphics just makes me go, ooh, I gotta find that now. World Domination in a Box. Command and Conquer. Great games. The New Falcon Mach 5. The Falcon Mach 5, the ultimate gaming machine. Man, look at that. And there's a. I love that there is a picture of the Terminator on that screen. Wow, with a price tag of only $2,795.
I've never heard of Falcon computers. Actually, I have, but just not like in the 90s. That's cool. All right, so I got to read out the specs for this. So standard features as of 6-1-1995 are Intel Pentium 100 megahertz processor, 100% compatible with all IBM PC software, Falcon PCI bus motherboard, 256 catch, 64-bit PCI graphics board with 1 meg, 16.8 million colors, Falcon PCI bus enhanced IDE hard drive, 8 megabytes of RAM, expandable to 128. 1.44 floppy drive. 730 megabyte enhanced IDE. Cannot read that. It's too small. I'm sorry. I'm guessing it says. I'm not going to try. A quad speed. Okay, so it does have a quad speed CD ROM. Creative Lab Sound Blaster 16. You get a flight stick by CH Products. You get a CH Products automatic speed sensitive dual game port. Mini tower case, power supply, yada yada, 14 inch screen, VGA monitor with edge to edge display. Cool. Key button, three button mouse, MS DOS Windows, and 10 free CD ROMs. Oh, it just says Windows, and then in parentheses it says latest version. So I'm guessing it's Windows 95. One year parts and labor warranty. And um, wow. So, man, I bet finding that thing today would still cost a fortune because you just don't hear about Falcon computers or see them ever it's just got that awesome classic look i love it well, let's keep jumping through here a little warcraft 2 talk great game the 10th planet never heard of that Power the game. This actually looks awesome. Inter Internet multiplayer. Ah, that's cool. That is very early. You know, I mean, man, for ninety-five to be having online multiplayers, you're gonna have one heck of an internet bill. That's all I can think of. Follow your destiny. Control your fate. Jet Fighter 3. That actually looks awesome. Jet Fighter 3. And they're obviously showing off some joysticks. By Thrustmaster. I'm still just impressed. I've never heard of Jet Fighter at all. So the fact that I'm seeing Jet Fighter 3 and seeing graphics like that for 1995, I'm a huge fan. I mean, I've said it a hundred times of these kinds of games from this era. Um, it's what I grew up with. And so this one just looks incredible for 1995. I have got to find that. It's by Interplay. All right. Oh, NBA Airborne 95. Never played that. A little more on the hive there. 
Weird War 3 by Microprose. Never played Weird War at all. So again, I'm seeing Weird War 3. I love that ad. That's great. Free game offer. You got Doom there. <laughs> Sony PlayStation at a price tag of two ninety nine. I forget that was out already in ninety five. That's amazing. Total list of games there too. What is this Seymour Butts thing? Oh, it's one of those stupid interactive, like, help your friend Seymour Butts get the girl of his dreams. Stupid. Silent Hunter. Police Quest, awesome. The eleventh hour, I've heard of that. Never played it though. I do love. I have to just jump back here. <laughs> so they have like CDI Adult Games, IBM Adult Stills. What the hell is this doing in this? I guess it's PC Gamer. These are just IBM Adult Interactive games. Look at that list. It's hilarious to me. 3DO Adult? My God. They really got these broken down, though. I'm just surprised how many adult games there were. I knew there were some, but not enough to fill a list like this. And then you got your Jaguar, PlayStation Super, talking Saturn, Genesis. That's awesome. Buried in Time. Kind of a tough one to look at. Never played it, but I like the ad. Talks a little bit about the rating system, the magazine itself. Full throttle. Shows the requirements and what they recommend. An editor's choice game. I've never played this game, but I've certainly heard of it. It's by LucasArts. I don't know what I'm looking at here. It came from the 80s, the sequel that's already a classic. Activision's Atari 2600 Action Pack 2 for Windows. That's cool. Play your Atari games on Windows. If I found that, I would I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Iron Assault. Have not played this. Oh, so they do get ratings down here. They were talking about that, so this gets a 74%. I'm not going to go into the depth of what these ratings mean. 74%, we can kind of you can kind of make your own assumption of what that means. Jumping back. Full throttle gets 90%. Exploration, never played it. By Interactive Magic. Never heard of them. Zigzag, 85%. Looks like a puzzle game which I have not played. These prices are crazy. They're, you know, 40 to 60 bucks so far. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, 78%. I disagree. It's a great game. Should get a way higher score. I need to find this for PC now that it exists on PC. That's awesome. Battle Beast, dead on. Battle Beast. Seventh level. Never heard of that. Tank Commander. 
69%. Whew. Very primitive, very primitive 3D graphics. But um, acceptable for the time. I mean, it's a little primitive even for 95. But it's different. You got to remember, this is like, it looks like it'd be a ground gate based game. And they were so much better at doing flight sims at this point and making those look real because you could, you know, make a, a flat mapped surface in a plane from that view look pretty good unless you got close to the ground in your plane. I think doing so, there was a hurdle there when doing ground based games like mech games and stuff. That's why I think they look a lot more primitive than the flight games do. Like, for example, when we saw Jet Fighter 3, it looked fantastic. It's time to jam. Ooh, I see System Shock. Fleet Defender. I've never played that. IndyCar Racing. Blood Bowl, 71%. I've never heard of it. Alien Virus. Wow, that's a generic name. I love the 3D uh, look of this game, though. It's a 59%. Ouch. Steel Panthers by SSI. I have not played this, but I do like the ad. I just like the way that tank looks. Pinball Mania for Windows. Not much to say there. Uh, Sim Tower, familiar, never played it, 74%. I think I would enjoy Sim Tower. I got to find that. Subscription to PC Gamer was. $47.95 for 12 issues. Definitely. Much more expensive than most of the magazine we've seen. But you got to remember, they are giving you a CD every time, it looks like. So, hence the higher price tag. Makes sense. First Encounters. Have not played it, but I do see some pretty awesome 3D graphics there. Gets a 70%. Let's jump through this. A little ad for, you know, this game catalog, buy your games here kind of things. Power of the game. We looked at the ad for that, 75%. <laughs> the Orion Conspiracy. We did see this earlier. I've not heard of this before. But this ad is amazing. Trust no one. And look at that. That's awesome. I would have been totally intrigued by this as a kid to want to. I got to check out the Orion conspiracy now. Again, I've not played it. So if you have played it, I mean, Spectrum Holobyte, man, they were a big presence back in the 90s. Dagger's Rage. I've not played that either. Decent ad, I guess. ECO East Africa, 63%. Looks pretty good. Simulation game. Man, these ads are crazy. So many ways to kill or die. Who can choose? Savage Warriors. Looks like a Mortal Kombat style fighting game. I've never played it, but I'm certainly intrigued. The Perfect General 2, another editor's choice. I've never played the Perfect General games. It's a 91%. Simulation style game. War game. I mean, that's a simulation to me. Shareware source. All right, we'll keep going.
going here. Hurl <laughs> gets a 53%. That's nothing special. We have an ad down here for... Oh, check out the free INN software. Okay. I don't know if it has anything to do with football or not, but Super Hearts, 83% racing game. Have not played it, but it kind of has an older Mario Kart look to it. Front page sports football ad down here. Not played that football game before. Lose blood now. Ask me how. Blood wings. Pumpkin heads revenge. Okay, a couple things about pumpkin head. I have never seen the movies except for small bits. And let me tell you, I was fascinated from what I have seen. Uh, I mean, look at the guy. He's crazy looking monster. But um, this looks to be some interactive game. And I can only imagine it's terrible. Woodruff and the Schnibble. Another editor's choice, 90%. A graphic adventure. I don't know. Extended play section, a few new aces. Keep moving here. Roger Wilco, the Spinal Frontier. <laughs> Some sort of, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Janitor turned space adventurer. Ah, so some sort of space comedy game from Sierra. It's a wonderful web. Ooh, more talk of the web. Heidi took a quick spin on the net this month and discovered that a whole new world full of educational value for kids and adults is just a few clicks away on the World Wide Web. Because that's what we call it, the World Wide Web. Nobody calls it the World Wide Web anymore. It's just the internet. I'm loving these old internet picks though man that's cool hurl into the future slipstream 5000 aerial combat racing game i check that out that sounds cool just because you can see like the statue of liberty and it's just like dystopian apocalyptic look looking kind of cover that's cool <laughs> Anvil of Dawn. Available soon from New World Computing Inc. Okay, haven't heard of this game and have not heard of New World Computing Inc. So I have, I have no experience with this, but I like what I see from the screenshots. Especially that second one down. Looks like it has some sort of 3D world to it and it Looks pretty good from what I can tell. It's Christmas time in August with online gifts for all in the Wolf's goodie bag. It's just full of software updates, sneak peeks, programming tips, new utilities, and just plain fun. <laughs> new gooey goodies for your graphical user interface. More stuff you can buy, catalog, call this number, buy our junk. Full throttle ad. Looks good. Virtual worlds. Achieving true 3D. Looking at virtual reality technology. Again, this is the mid-90s, so virtual reality, it was, it was everywhere. You couldn't escape it. 
Okay, desktop general. Talking about perfect general two. American laser games. Have not heard of them. The last bounty hunter. Missed that one. From the look of it, it's got that multi interactive type game, multimedia interactive type game. Excuse me. PC gamer customer service information. Thank you. Miss Metaverse. Metaverse. What? VirtualVegas.com. Some sort of weird casino game? Free internet access and 10,000 online contest. $10,000 online contest. Whatever. If you know anything about this, please let me know in the comments. I got nothing. But I'm betting www.virtualvegas.com does not work anymore. Just guessing. <laughs> Terminal Velocity. See what I mean? Look at this game. This is amazing looking for the time. Of course, 3D Realms. Um, they were fantastic when they were around. But look at that. That's great. That's just a great looking game. Especially for 95. Online racer. We're looking at NASCAR racing. The edit. I used to love doing this. So best thing about NASCAR racing is you can like watch your full race replay. And basically, if you had a wicked crash, you could like frame by frame it and just watch it. And now the frames were like huge chunks of time. But it was so great to see. That game looked so good when it came out. It's just, it's still to this day. That's why I still have NASCAR Racing 2 on the compact. Because I just love to like get on it. And yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll, you know, I'll race. Sometimes I'll just do what we used to do as kids. And just see how big of a mess of a massacre crash I can make. Because the damage engine in those games, those early pap Papyrus racing games, is just holds up so well. It's such a blast. That's also why I have NASCAR Racing 4 on the msi which i'm recording this on right now and it works it works i don't know how that game of all games i can get that game that works just fine on this machine it's a blast pcs versus game systems is it even a contest that's a great question i brought it up before you know i always thought like I mean, computer games, in my opinion, dominate. But the problem is the exclusive titles to consoles. Um, has that always been kind of a problem? Yeah. But I think lately now that um, I think just they're aware of the money they can make by doing exclusive only console games because it forces you to consider buying multiple consoles, something that never existed back in the day. You had to make a decision back in the day, in my opinion, of having like sega or nintendo you know um and if you had a pc it was always a plus you probably also had a console back in the day but you never had like i didn't know anyone who had a like a super nintendo a sega genesis and a pc i just don't it was maybe you had a pc and you had one or the other as far as consoles go but you didn't have multiple consoles you know, you may have had older consoles on top of your newer one. Like you might have had a Super Nintendo and a N64 from different generations as time went on. But in the same generation, like I didn't know anyone who had a PlayStation and a Nintendo 64 in the late 90s. It just didn't happen, you know. Um, not like it does now where I have friends who have a PC, an Xbox One X, and they'll have a PS4. Full circle and make sure that there's no title they can miss. Me, I have no consoles right now in the latest generation. I just PC game. Now, what's made me start to wa want a console is Red Dead Redemption 2. What does a PC gamer do? Wait and hope it comes out in the next couple of years ported to PC? Or do I go get the package deal 
at Best Buy and drop hundreds of dollars to play one game and have to subscribe to the service if I want to play it online. It's just rough right now. And it might have been that way back then too, but not not like it is now in my opinion. So is it even a contest? I think that's still a great question. That's all I can say. I don't know. Let's move on. All right. Make 3D action games with no programming. Sell them for money. No royalties or fees. This looks like a joke. What are they trying to sell us? The Pi 3D game creation system for $70. Pi in the Sky software. Huh. These are the kind of games people would make and you'd get them on like the 10,000 great games, discs and all that junk. <laughs> Dark Forces. Have not played Dark Forces, but I would. Lost Eden. Not played that either. Jazz Jackrabbit. I've heard of it. Not played it. Another CD-ROM purchasing page here. Phone number, I should say. Okay. Letters to the editor, dissenting opinions, new blood wanted. Uh, let's keep going. The net. Ooh, this is for a magazine. A revolution. A revolutionary phenomenon demands a new kind of magazine. Subscribe and save over 50%. 50%. Don't let the revolution start without you. Well, I'll definitely look into it if I find one. I'll get your back issues of PC Gamer. Turning into an ad. Oh, it's the marketplace. So now I've just got a bunch of ads. Want to play the latest games? How about make some cash? How about both? I'd love to get paid to play games. Complete, create your own career in computer animation. A little bit of what's next. Talks about PC Gamer Online again. Ah, Civilization. Ha, Civnet. Wow. Civilization on the internet. Would have blown my mind because at this time I'd only just played the regular. I didn't even know this existed. So that's awesome. And finally we get... An ad for Sound Blaster. Well, not the worst magazine. Um, it's got some good ads. It's got, I like the early internet talk, but um, the game reviews are okay. A lot of articles that don't translate well to screen in here, but I guess that's always going to happen in some level. Overall, it's a pretty decent magazine. I'd definitely check out more. So I think it's the right length for a video like this too. Um, not too long, just enough, but um, I guess I would have, the one thing I would have wanted more is hardware. I'd love to have seen more hardware. I did get introduced to a few games like Jet Fighter 3 and stuff that I really want to check out now. Um, so that's cool. Overall, I, it passes for me. I'll definitely give it another go. 
I'd never seen this before till now either. It's my first early PC Gamer magazine I've ever looked at. So um, let me know what you think of this magazine. Let me know if you've ever had a subscription. Um, your thoughts on these videos, you know, would be great too. I want to make sure they're enjoyable and they're going in the direction you all want them to go. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And if not, either way, have a great day.